All right, welcome to uh, one of my first tutorials on the Jenkins X CloudBees distribution. I'll be doing several of these. Um, today, I want to talk to you about how to enable the UI for the new Shiny UI that just uh, came out on version 4. And so here, you can see I was running it, but I'm, I'll, I executed this command, uh, specified the port, and then... Uh, the web UI shows up on your browser. So I'll execute it again so you can see. And then there it is. That is the new shiny UI. Now you have projects, builds, right? And I don't have any projects in there now, so we will create a project. Uh, but I just ran a pipeline. A pipeline ran uh, on the dev repo because we added the UI itself. So that's what you're seeing there. And it was successful, right? Um, there is the log, which I think is pretty cool, a cool way to view the logs. Uh, you could look at it in the terminal or you can view it here, which is pretty. So uh, great job, the folks that worked on the UI. Well, I'm going to create an application and show you what that looks like. Um, but yeah, ran through all the steps or ran through all the steps. As you can see, the green check marks mean success, right? You'd see a red cross uh, and, of course, the overall status of the pipeline failing. So no, this is uh, on this terminal window. You can see the command I used to add the UI. Yes, you have to manually added, right? So that's the command you use there. Uh, and and the it, it, it's pretty straightforward. I use my SharePoint Oscar GitHub account, which is not the bot account, to add this application. And it does the whole GitOps thing, right? So via a pull request into the dev repo, uh, it then, once it's approved, uh, then it gets merged into the master branch of that dev repo, at which point it triggers our pipeline to promote uh, and start uh, deploying the app in its own pod and everything, right? So it's a typical process, right? Whether it's this app, any changes to configuration uh, go through this. So very typical. You can see at the bottom, I was looking at the uh, pipeline, the execution of it for when I installed. And you can see that's the uh, the promotion pipeline there. And it, 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 JX goes through uh, several steps and, and checks that all the pods are running, right? And uh, gives you the status. There is a, po there is a pod for our UI and uh, it should show up here. Yeah, there it is. So it's running. That means our, that's that's why our UI is running. And these are just health checks. It checks when the pot is up and then lets you know um, that things are working. The pipeline will finish. And at the bottom, what you want to see is all is good there. All right. So once you have that, uh, that's all you really need. Now we're going to create an application so you can see what it looks like um, when a application pipeline is running on the UI, right? So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll do it through the quick start. I actually published a quick start called Rollout. Um, have you ever heard of feature flags? Uh, and, you know, publishing features for specific audiences and all that. This allows you to do that. But the only reason I'm using this is because the UI is actually kind of pretty. So it gives you a nice visual there. Um, so let's go ahead and do that.
And our goal here is to simply select that rollout, quick start. Typical, right? Nothing different here. If you ever use quick starts, is there's several for different languages. Uh, Node.js, I think there's a Ruby one. Uh, and so here, I do want to use my personal GitHub account. And I have several organizations. I'll select the one where I, I want to drop this in. Give it a name. Uh, I've created this in the past, as you could tell. So we'll give it another name. And yeah, we want to initialize the repo, some commit message here. It goes through the language detection. And there's the, uh, the directory for the newly created GitHub repository. Now what's going on here? It looks like it's saying that that's right. This, this GitHub uh, organization is free, right? So uh, I cannot create private repositories. The creation of repositories in Jenkins X by default is private. So there must be a flag that I can pass right now to uh, tell it to not create a private one, just a public. So we can take a look at the help and see if there's a flag I think there is. And I thought I had seen one in the past I've used, so like get public. Yeah, there it is. So we're gonna use that flag for executing our command here to create the quick start. And we're gonna set it to true. All right, so the goal is to get the, uh, the, the repository viewable there. So we'll see what happens. And let's execute this again. Uh, you probably heard my puppy in the background there. So pardon the background noise. All right, so now it's creating, we're doing this again with that flag. It should create the repository in this uh, fictitious GitHub organization I have. Let's take a look. So, yep, I want to use that and I want to select the same GitHub organization. I give my repository a name. Let's initialize it. All right, so it's going through the typical process, right? The language detection. Uh, it will create uh, a proud job and all that good stuff in the background and add the webhook to the repo. All right, not sure why it's giving me that warning because that bot account is definitely part of the GitHub organization. So it's just a warning. I'll ignore it. There it is, there's the, the web hook. Okay. All right, so it looks like the, the, the Git repo has been created. The proud job has kicked off there. We see test cars in the projects of the UI. You just saw it. Uh, typically, we would look at the logs this way, right, via the terminal. I, I still like this view. Um, but we're going to show it on the UI, right? Let's see what's happening. So you see the status running for the pipeline. That's pretty cool. Got a little animation going. Here's the log. 
with a little dark theme, pretty cool. Those are all the steps that are gonna run in the pipeline for our build. And that's pretty much it. This shows you a quick preview of how to install the UI, the new shiny UI on uh, V4 of the Jenkins X Cloud Bees distribution. I'll be recording a lot more uh, tutorials. The next one will be on enabling a custom domain in TLS. So look for that. And thanks for watching.